I think we should just leave. Jasper's famed forests in flames. Even as people fled, fire burned to the edges of their exit. Look at this lineup. Um, the only place to go apparently is west. Late Monday night, an evacuation alert suddenly became an order to leave. The park packed with summer vacationers. As many as 25,000 residents and visitors were forced to drive through the night on a single highway through soot and darkness to safety. Everybody waited hours and hours and hours, and it's, it was horrible. It was, it was awful for everybody involved. I just got smoke here and smoke here, um, and the highway was just pretty busy, <laughs> like just a long row of, uh, of tail lights uh, and a long row of lights behind us in the rear view mirror. Wherever evacuees ended up, many spent the night sleeping in cars. Those that went west into BC are being asked to go back to Alberta. As the fire burns out of control, there are fears people are still hiking and camping in the area, unaware of the fire emergency. If you have a way of contacting those in the backcountry, they should travel to reach a trailhead. And within the town site, the RCMP spent the day convincing about 40 people to leave. So there are still some residents that are in there. Police are actively um, going house to house to apartments, um, speaking with these people and, and encouraging them to leave. Alberta working closely with Parks Canada. We told them that we were prepared to help them whichever way they need us to, and they're taking us up on that offer. Winds and scorching temperatures are making for erratic fire behavior. Look at this. And it could get even worse. Late in the day, the RCMP guided media through the park until it got too dangerous. Fortunately, we've had to stop here. Another fire east of the town was growing too fast. The job of protecting the people and the park not over yet. Georgie Smythe, CBC News, Vancouver.